Greetings, Zero here, and welcome back to the Liquid Crystal Fairy Sumo Outside. Last time, I kicked Team Saturn out of the Silk Company building's basement and obtained the Marsh Badge from Sabrina. Oh, hi, Axel. As I was about to say, ordinarily in Gen 2 you can do almost anything in whatever order you want, but unfortunately this hack has to railroad you, so that's not an option. Thanks! What's his name? Let Lincoln Zelda. You prick. And no, you can't use the underground to get around it. But first of all, we reach Celadon City. And there's a couple of items around here. I think there might be one back here. Nope. All right, well, in that case, first things first, we're going upstairs. Mm-hmm. Sure you do. That was a really shitty story. But you get the TM for Curse out of that, which I will teach to Gramble later on, but not yet. Okay, so this time we're gonna act like we're leaving. But, of course, we can't actually leave because instead we get a cost of by Mr. OC Donut Steel again. We're gonna do Baton Pass Strats. We're going to keep doing this until we run out of power points for Ancient Power. Now Baton Pass. And yeah, you may think, oh, Psychic Type against Houndoom? Max out special attack, bitch. Get styled on, Zane! Remember what I said? I think I said it earlier on that this has some bad fanfic to your writing? Yeah. Hmm. I'm not a big fan of this game's dialogue sometimes. Moving on! Yep, the PowerPoint up for Gen 1 is still here. Let's see, is there anything I want to use that on? We'll save it for later. Oh yeah, well now you need to use Cut in order to get to the gym, because reasons. I hate HMs. I'm I'm Master Roshi. <laughs> okay, so yeah. Okay, you're down. Well, yeah, we're gonna... Because you got Ice Punch. We'll try that. Okay, yeah, we're not taking chances now.
Okay, so, yep. Yeah. Uh, well, let me see. Well, I was looking at you, but, uh, probably a specific part of you, let's be honest. Yeah, frozen. And now, we can take on Erica. All right, sure. Wow, I'm getting really good freeze luck this episode. You got beaten by a water type, Erica. Wow. And now we get the TM for Giga Drain. I don't know if I'll ever use it, but eh, it's there. Show you all a little trick, because normally you're kind of stuck in Kanto until the SS Aqua comes back. But if you've been down here to Route 100, you can fly there. Because normally, if you're on this route over here, you can't you can't fly into Kanto. So you're stuck there. But you fly here, and then just pop a rappel, and it's just a short swim back to Johto. And here, up here, yep. Let's head north, and we're back in New Bark Town. Now the reason I wanted to do that is, uh, well... Something's actually going on today that I just remembered. Well, it's here Goldenrod City, but first I'm gonna go and sell some items that I don't need. So I think this is Bill's dad here. He's a bit of a, was a gambling addict or something. Anyways, if you buy him 4,000 coins for the game corner, he will teach you, well, one of your Pokemon, any of these three moves. I think it's once per week on a certain day of the week. Uh, I think it's Wednesdays in this hack. And uh, I don't know if it's a one-time thing or if it's once a week. I think it's supposed to be once a week, but with how this thing is coded, you never know. Anyways, uh, we're actually going to teach Ice Beam. And we have a couple of options here. We're going to teach it to Guiar here. Actually, sec second thought, let's uh, let's get Thunderbolt. Ice, because Ice Punch is not that, not that uh, much less powerful, but it has the same amount of power points, uh, but it has more power points than Ice Beam, where Thunderbolt has the same power points as Thunder Punch, but is more powerful. And we are as a mix attacker, so as a result, it makes more sense, because it... Its attack and special attack are almost the same. They're both like 130 something. And off he goes to squander it all away on pa on Pachinko slots. Well, you know what they say. It's a sucker born every minute. Back in Solidon City, by the way, you could buy Dig TMs here. Um, so if you bought that at the game quarter in Johto, you were getting ripped off. Just don't. You can also get Mud Slap, Detect, Attract, Hyper Beam, and Roar. And from this guy, uh, well, it's just general items. Okay. Now, this guy, I believe, is a move tutor in. Fire, vanilla Fire Red Leaf Green. This guy will sell you the various weather moves. That can be very helpful. It also sells you Hidden Power, which you can get and pick up anyway. And it's broken in this anyway, so what's the point? And Protect. Here, well, just Polka Dolls and Retro Mail. You have your usual Medicine Counter. I forget, is there anything up here that's worth getting? 
Huh. You know, I might as well get some lemonades. Those are usually pretty cost-effective. Oh, and inside the condos, there's a guy who sells moonstones. So if you need those, you can go up here. Also, if I recall correctly, you see lives here. Oh, that's the Game Freak office. Uh, he's supposed to live here to sell it on City or something. Hmm. Okay, so yeah, the reason I brought that up is because, uh, well, if you come to Yusin with, well, you go to Yusin with Raiko, Entei, and Suicune in your party, they'll give you a Rainbow Wing. Of course, we have the different slots here. Nothing behind the poster. Uh, but what I meant to show you was what's over here. So, there's a bunch of, uh, held items, basically. The Black Flute, which is, I like a repel, but shittier. Except it's reusable. You get Pikachu, Porygon, and Larvitar. Uh, you can catch Larvitar in that segment of Mount Silver from the Dragon's Den, and you can also catch it in the upper portion of Dark Cave, so what's the fucking point? Now, we should get out of here. I think this... Nope. Nothing in here. That tree grew back awfully fast. And now we have a cycling road. Yeah, and if you want to stop, you can just hold B. We're gonna battle all the trainers on here. There aren't that many. Especially compared to vanilla. Nice try. Okay, fine, just blow yourself up. Nice try. Okay. I think that's all of them on this on cycling road. I might be mistaken. Mm -hmm. No hidden items that I can identify. Oh, one more. He's gonna blow himself up. Yep. Ready like a book. Now there's a bunch of other trainers down here. Or maybe just one. Find Wild Slugboy here. And this takes us to Fuchsia City. Wait. Oops. Now, ordinarily, you would be able to go south to, uh, well, at least once you get to a certain point, but you can't because there's actually rocks in the way. You won't be able to go there until much later. So first, let's actually take on the gym. Now, all these trainers are disguised as Jinyi. But only one of them is real. It's the one on the far left. But of course we want the experience and the money, so we are going to fight everyone. But remember, no versus seeker in this hack. The only way to farm money is either to beat the Elite Four over and over again, or to, uh, use pickup. Actually, no, there's another place later on where you can get basically unlimited items. And, uh, but yeah, because, of course, for some reason your poking gear can't send phone calls. I guess it was too difficult to program. It can receive calls, though. Now, hmm, yep, over here, 
And now we take on the Jibber. Nice try. Yep, that was, well, that was pretty predictable. And we get the TM for Toxic. We actually got another one of those back on New Island in the past. Going up here, this used to be the Safari Zone, of course, but it's shut down. We will be back here. You actually can access this later on in the hack. Much later. So, uh, well, I think that's about everything we could do in Fuchsia City. Um, I think we've gone on for long enough. I know it's a bit of a short episode, but next up it's just going to be fighting a fuck ton of trainers on the way up towards Lavender Town. Anyways, if you like what you see, like, comment, subscribe, check out my Rumble page, and I will see you all next time.